cesarean section CS is the delivery of baby by abdominal and uterine incision okay so it is the operative delivery of the, the baby rather than the normal vaginal delivery and now the, uh, nowadays we have increasing rates of cesarean section uh, due to uh, anesthesia uh, advancing and uh, that the mortality and morbidity of cesarean section ha have decreased okay so that's why we have a lot of CS and for other causes of course, of course okay what are the indications of cesarean section when do we apply cesarean section we have maternal indications fetal indications okay and maternal and fetal indications together let's start with the maternal indications when do we do a cesarean section in what condition that affects the mother in untreated HIV okay untreated HIV in active herpes simplex virus okay in a prior uterine surgery and actually I should have I should have started with this point because it is the most common uh, reason for uh, cesarean section is prior uterine surgery like to CS okay except if it is classical CS it's enough to have one classical CS to do the other to be uh, also classical CS so uh, in minutes I'm going to talk about what the classical CS okay full thickness myomectomy is also an indication for cesarean section so take care of this point because it is the most important prior uterine surgery is the most common cause okay untreated HIV active uh, herpes simplex virus okay and obstruction in birth canal sometimes we have some conditions that obstruct the birth canal like fibroid for example like any masses okay so any obstruction of the in birth canal is an indication for cesarean section these are the maternal conditions and you can know, know them by logic okay any obstruction any infection any prayer surgery because uh, if we want to try a subsequent normal vaginal delivery there will be a contractions in the uterus and that, that will predispose the uterus to uh, be ruptured okay so now the fetal indications for cesarean section the first one is bradycardia okay no fetal heart rate variability so if bradycardia is the first one also pH below 7.2 Okay, so fetal distress in general, okay, a malpresentation, okay. what do we mean by malpresentation, like preach a presentation, except of the frank, preach a presentation, uh, if it is frank, then we can uh, try uh, normal vaginal delivery, but in foot leg or other uh, types of preach presentation, no, we apply cesarean section. A pro presentation, presentation of the face of the baby, okay, transverse presentation, all these are indications for cesarean section. Also, macrosomia, macrosomia, okay, cord prolapse. Cord prolapse. So, to remember them, just divide the fetal conditions into a fetal distress, here, bradycardia, and pH below 7.2, okay. Malpresentation or problems with the presentation, like malpresentation and cord prolapse, okay, in preach pro transverse, okay, uh, problems with the size of the baby, macrosomia, and anomaly, anomalies, like hydrocephalus, for example, okay, we move to cesarean section. But what about maternal and fetal uh, conditions together? Of course, failure to progress with no, progress with normal vaginal delivery, failure of in, induction of labor. If we fail fail to progress with normal vaginal delivery, then we move to the cesarean section. Okay, failure of induction of labor, we move to cesarean section. Uh, section. And the most important is kephalopelvic disproportion. Kephalopelvic disproportion for any indication or for any cause. I'm sorry. For, for example, if the pelvic is too small to the baby or the baby is too large to the pelvic okay for any reason 
if we have a kefal or pelvic disproportion, then we move to cesarean section. So the maternal, fetal, and maternal and fetal uh, indications uh, you have to remember them all. Okay. So what are the types of cesarean sections? I just show you a graph it will help you. Okay. So these are the types of cesarean section. We have the low cesarean section and the high cesarean section the high cesarean section the high vertical cesarean section is called the classical okay and the low is divided into two types the low vertical the rarest type and the low transverse this is the most common finished steel type okay a finished steel incision so low transverse okay and low vertical and high which is a classical now let's move to discuss each one of these types the upper segment okay and the lower segment the lower segment as i said transverse okay and lower segment vertical the high the upper segment we have the classical let's start with the lower segments when uh, what are the benefits of lower segment cs over the upper segment especially the lower transverse segment the lower segment uh, has no contractions or uh, no or a small uh, amount of contractions so it is more predicted to be ruptured in the future so we have less rupture in the lower segment cesarean section but in the upper segment we have more point to rupture seven percent of uh, upper segment will have rupture in the future or during the operation okay so uh, this is the first uh, thing to the, compare them. Less a bleeding, we have less bleeding in the lower segment. Okay, less peritonitis, less infection than in upper segment. Less bleeding, less infection, and uh, less rupture. And the lower segment is protected by rectile muscles, so it is more cosmetic. It is more cosmetic and heal. Take it takes a shorter time to heal than the upper segment because this is uh, the lower segment is with the direction uh, uh, protected with the direction of the rectal muscle the upper segment is not protected so it will take a lot of time to heal okay less adhesions in lower segment so lower segment is the first uh, procedure to choose okay but sometimes we move to upper segment the question is why do we do upper segment or classical cesarean section when we can do lower segment because of some indications like just raise this okay okay erase, erase. okay because of for example hard access to lower segment sometimes you can't find appropriate access to the lower segment like in cancers and severe adhesions that prevent the road to uh, uh, so to access to lower segment hand shaking position sometimes we have what we call hand shaking position and if we have a ruptured membrane okay sudden decompression with a transverse light then we have hand shaking position so we move to classical CS okay in adhesions and we have what we call cesarean hysterectomy sometimes we want to do cesarean and hysterectomy so we don't care to have vertical or cesarean or uh, sorry uh, upper segment or lower segment uh, section and actually the upper segment uh, section is much more easier than the lower segment so uh, if we don't care to do upper or lower then we always go to upper because it gives you more space it is easier procedure so in cesarean hysterectomy we move to upper uh, procedure okay preterm a breach with undeveloped lower segment preterm breach with uh, undeveloped lower segment in a breach in general we use finished steel or lower segment uh, axis okay but in a preterm with undeveloped lower segment we move to upper segment axis so these are the indications of upper segment or a classical okay cesarean section okay now let's move to the complications of a cesarean section complications why is vaginal delivery is uh, more 
is better than uh, cesarean section because we have a complications it is an operation so we have before and during and after this operation complications before like complication of anesthesia okay vomiting aspiration pneumonia Mendelssohn syndrome which is HCL regurgitation okay so we have to give antacids two hours prior to the uh, procedure we have to put uh, endotracheal the cuff will prevent the regurgitation of the acids endotracheal tube okay so it's an operation the, the risk of uh, operation uh, anesthesia is is here also is applied here also okay during the operation we're afraid of bleeding or injury for example to uterine arteries which is very bad injury okay it's a it is the first fear uh, in uh, as in such a uh, operation because the uterine artery uh, has got uh, prominent flow and any bleeding will be uh, just uh, a tragic story okay so this is during operation bleeding and injury after operation also atelectasis of bleeding infection a thrombe, a thromboembolic uh, issues like DVT, a PE, okay, it is associated with higher morbidity and mortality. But nowadays, the morbidity and mortality are decreasing. Okay, I talked about the types of cesarean section according to the type of the incision. Now I'm going to talk about the types of cesarean section according to indication. Okay, so we have emergent cesarean section. In emergent cesarean section, the mother and the baby are both in danger, so we have to do immediate cesarean section, okay? In urgent cesarean section, the mother and the baby uh, are in danger, okay? But they are controlled, and we can do cesarean section as soon as possible, okay? We, you can stabilize the patient and wait sometimes, then we can, you can do cesarean section. This is urgent cesarean section, but emergent, immediately you have to do cesarean section okay in scheduled cesarean section you can put uh, the uh, section uh, on the schedule uh, to adapt the patient uh, uh, requirements okay while as in elective cesarean section you have uh, you can take the uh, or put the uh, timing uh, according to the patient and do, to the doctor uh, scheduling or willing okay and we have perimortem cesarean section the patient is about to die but is she still alive and postmortem cesarean section when the patient is already dead okay and you can catch the baby live within uh, 15 to 20 minutes after uh, the death of uh, the mother okay so emergent uh, is immediate cesarean section urgent is mustajal ولكن, uh, but not immediate okay you can wait sometimes uh, sometime uh, scheduled uh, you have to take care of the mother uh, case only to schedule uh, the cesarean section elective you can uh, put the date on the mother and the doctor willing perimortem is uh, uh, still alive mother post-mortem after the mother has it. This is all about cesarean section. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.